humerus, we have the elbow, and we have the wrist. For your two manipulations of the arm, we need to make sure that these two shoulders are aligned with the cervical spine and are aligned with the spine. By looking at the legs and at the feet, you will see if the feet are going more uh, inwards or outwards, you will see that there is a back problem. There's a, uh, the alignment is not quite um, right and you cannot do it until you look at it. Do you see anything wrong with the shoulders? Mm -hmm. Very rounded. No, I don't know. I want you to take a look. Her left shoulder is higher than the right. Hmm. He's a little bit higher. Okay. Next. Do you see anything wrong? Where do you look first? Her shoulders you are have lifted to look off of the table. They're lifted they're off. Rounded. And they're rounded forward. Okay. Look how much space you got here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that means what? That the entire problem is coming from the cervical spine and is affecting the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Look how much space you got here. The brain is pretty a lot more interior than the left. That's true. So in this condition, what do you think you're going to do here? What do you try to achieve? Just drop the shoulders back to the yeah. table. Yeah. Make him? External rotation. I'm sorry? Rotation. The external rotation. What would you like to achieve with any of these shoulders? Because they could be different. One could be raised, one could be not, one could be inflamed, the other one could be limited. What do you intend to do? Straighten them and bring them down. And, br and bring them down. Yeah. So we have so many manipulations for our intent to treat. But right now, you have no choice but to learn a very few of them. So let's start with which which one do you want to see what's what's doing here? So we see this is a little is this a little bigger than this shoulder? No. No. It's thin, but I think this, this is the problem this, one. This is the bigger one. The higher one. But do you see any problem with this shoulder? I don't do you know see any one. difference in this size? Is, this one is bigger out here, and this yeah. one isn't. This one is more yeah. rounded. That one is more. Yeah. It's more. I don't this know, problems interior, are so about it's like a little bit different. Okay, so what we try to do is to bring this shoulder more like here. Yeah, this, go down is that right? Are you right-handed? Mm -hmm. No. You're left-handed? Mm -hmm. I am both. You see? So we want to bring this shoulder here and that one there. For that, you can't just push it like this to do this. You see that? So we have to work the joint really carefully, and we have to do a lot of traction. In order to bring fluid here, we have to bring fluid from everywhere. Mm -hmm. So since we've been operating with only the hands, we need to bring more fluid. What's happening with the hand position and this? He's squeezing the blood. The blood forces the synovial fluid to move, to travel, mm -hmm. and will go to the shoulder, will cleanse that, will move to the neck, will move, will go to the other side. So every time you grab and you traction and you hold, you cut the blood supply to that area for five seconds. More than that, five, six, seven, ten seconds, more than that, you will start hurting the person. There's two principles here. Um, first, the hand has to be, your hand has to be completely on top of the wrist with the heel of your palm able to move. You can be here and you cannot drag the skin to, to cause that uh, pinch. So the hand is on top of the wrist, on top. So when you do this traction here, carefully with these fingers, traction and traction, you cut the blood supply right now. Two, three, four, five. You loosen up. How come her arm isn't? Uh, like straight up at 90? It's not because of the problem that she has with her, with her. Oh, okay. 
cervical spine and the lower back. So can you feel her arms stop moving when you bring it up? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Every client's arm will tell you, that's it, I can't go. That's why I said, when you are on the table, don't just to let them know, that's it, this is where I'm going. So when you raise your arm, parallel. Raise your arms and put it parallel. 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 L look at each other's shoulders, please. Look at each other's shoulders. So don't bring your, don't bring your arm to the ear. Just leave it parallel.